Well, it's Mod Cross site already. Short intro. Uh, short title of the game. So, there's, hello, handsome, handsome views here, and welcome to the new year. We're into 2020, and I thought, and I thought, I was thinking, what should I do to start off this year? And I'm sort of skeptical what to do. But I think, but, and then I figured, well, since this year will be the, we'll have the Olympics, why not do something Olympic theme? And I haven't done any video games, so to to an Olympic video game. So here we are, we're starting off with this year with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020. Now, I'm actually a bit of a fan of the Mario and Sonic video game series. I am. I actually own most of the games. Well, okay, I don't own Sochi, but I yeah, that's one of the weaker ones. Uh, and I don't own all the handheld ones. But in, but yeah, I, a bit of, I am a fan. So I was kind of, I was, I thought after that, since they skipped um, the 2018 Olympics, that, that the whole series was gone, but here comes Tokyo 2020, and you know what? It's actually really fine. A definitely an improvement of Rio. And, yeah, it's definitely a good one to, a uh, good um, first game for the Nintendo Switch. So, I should probably start off with the story mode in this, because most Mario and Sonic games would have it, but... Well, handheld games would, but since Nintendo Switch is hybrid, well, why not? So, story mode. Bowser and Dr. Eggman have invented a, um, a portable game device that sucks Mario, Sonic, Toad, as well as the two of them into a 8-bit, into a 8-bit, 16-bit world hybrid of the, which involves the Olympic Games of the, from Tokyo in 1964. So, now they, the, now unfortunately they're trapped in there, but there is one way to get out. Bowser and Eggman know about it first. Well, okay, Eggman knows about it because he's the one who built the game. And so, but ba and Bowser's just joins along the ride. And Mario and Sonic have to try and figure out their own way to get back home, as well as stopping whatever Eggman and Bowser are playing. While in the, in the real world, Egg Luigi, Luigi, and Luigi, Tails, e Amy, and Daisy must form it. Must work out a way to get the free, get the f get Mario and Sonic back home while also buying heads of Bowser Jr. and Eggman Nega, who are trying to get Eggman and Bowser back. Toad's forgotten. Don't know why. I mean, it work, brings in all the characters that you know and love in the Tokyo settings, and a lot of, it's a lot of fun seeing them interact with every one another, and the quips they have with each other. But one of my big problems is that, like the... Like, re, like many games nowadays, Mario and Luigi don't have any speech bubbles. And it really angers me because I really want to see them their thoughts, because especially since Luigi has been known to speak um, in the in the games, Mario not so much. But come on, you can really do do something with this. I mean, I'm getting sick of it. Uh, I should probably go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's my big problem. But overall, the story is really good. Um. Uh, the graphics are fine, honestly, with this. They're, they're pretty good. I mean, they're not as great as, say, Lu graphics and animations are as great as Luigi's Mansion 3, but still relatively good. I miss the F and V videos of the of the Wii games, honestly. And I always find the Winter Olympics looking better than the than the Summer Olympics, honestly. Just my preference. Uh, I s hey, I said, look, if you're going back on what I said about Arctic Dot. Arctic Dogs, I don't like snow. And I said in Arctic Dogs, I don't like animation that involves CGI animation involving snow. I, I didn't say anything about CGI. I didn't say anything about video games. Okay? So we should probably be enough with the main gameplay. So, let's start. So, I'm not going to show story mode since I've already completed it. So I'll just do a few quick matches. Now, the controls, you can do motion controls or. Just button controls, and you know what? I'm fine with just using button. So these are the events. Very good selection. There are three new ones: being surfing, um, skateboarding, and sports climbing. I'll show one of those off soon. And we also got three dream events: dream racing, which is skateboarding, dream shooting, which well, is shooting, and dream karate. Dream racing takes place in a, in metropolis. And Metropolis from, uh, from Sonic Forces and Gene Karate takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. 
Or during June, it takes place in a Tokyo um, house. Of course, my favorite things are the Tokyo 64 events, which are 2D events that don't involve every character. So, I'll show off um, a few events. Let's start with the classic 100 meter race. Of course, we've got the main, the main 20 characters we all know and love. We got for Mario, the Mario series. We have Mario. We have, sorry. We have Mario, Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Bowser, Wario, Waluigi, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and Bowser Jr. Also for Sonic, we have of course Sonic the Hedgehog, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Doctor Eggman, Shadow, Silver, Metal Sonic, Blaze, and Vector. We also have guest characters in this, and look, I was finding them using guest characters in Rio, but come on, I just want to fully fledged characters nowadays. But let's just do a few events, so um, let's do Sonic first. I mean, he's getting his new movie coming out, which I will be reviewing when, that, when that's released. The controls are right here. So I stuff up, look, I'm not a professional. It's been a while because I've been on holidays for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Did alright, I guess. I'm not sure I'm going to myself amazing Sonic. The male, trend, the male celebrations are back, but one thing I liked from Sochi and, and Rio was that they had dual character celebrations for certain team events. And they, they're not present in this as far as I know, so... Yeah. A bit disappointing. In fact, I'll prove it, actually. Let's pick another event. Um, one of my favorites from Rio that they introduced was Rugby, so I'll play that, actually. Alright. And here's one of the guest characters, Diddy Kong. So I'm gonna play with here. I'm just prove that there's no um, guest, no dual character celebration stops on my team. Bring him back up. And. Oh, that grand, get ready. And I'm gonna make my team involve um, the eight brothers. For certain team events, you get part, partners like Birdos with. Birdos, um, Boom Booms, and Egg, and Egg Ponds, but, eh, let's get ready. A, let's do some Egg Ponds. See if I get, if there, I'm pretty sure there's no dual characters celebrations. Um, yeah, some of my other problem, yeah, as I said, the controls are fine, I, I'm, I'm glad we have different selections of, um, of, uh, Game of controls, which is fine, which I like. So I'm, not everyone's a fan of motion controls, as we all know. From Go on, Eggman. Oh, fine, fine. No, oh, <laughs> whoops! I, <laughs> that was my pick. That was a that was a you know, cup. Yeah, we got fun on the front Yeah, I'm not a big rugby fan, honestly. I'm more rugby league. As I've done, as I've shown forth my rugby league um, book review. So, yeah. And, yeah. I'm not fun on the honestly. Come on! 
gonna say it's been a while since I played this since I've been on holiday for a few for a week. So that's why I wanted to a break after all my Christmas reviews. I need a break after everything, so I could I just take a few days off. Hmm. If, if I pick my favourite event, so I think Ruffy is one of my favorite, is still one of my favourite so Yeah, so but one of my new favourite events is surfing actually, which is new to the Olympics this year, so look for this now now. As you can see I'm Australian. I'm I'm Australian, so of course I'm my team, I'm of course representing my country of Australia, which is the which you can see by the flag. I should mention one of my favorite things to do in the old games is choose my character variations for team events. And my old day, when I was younger, I was like having Luigi and Donkey Kong as a pair. I, I don't know, it was just my my way. I just loved the two characters. And my favorite character in the Mario universe, you know, I know Donkey Kong's got his own franchise. But I'm just saying. Celebration. Yep, as I thought, no, no special, no dual character celebrations. I also like boxing as well, that's another fine event, great event. But I'll show you one of the new ones. Let's go surfing. And another guest character, Rosalina, maybe not. Oh, Australian and Knuckles. Yeah, so as I said, new events are sports climbing, surfing, and um, skateboarding. Honestly, I find surfboarding and skateboarding the easiest to, to get into. Sports climbing can take a while, honestly. I think surfing is the best of the new ones. I'm getting really hard to see at the Olympics this year. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if I can warm this brand, honestly. Oh, I still won. Okay. Yeah, so, best, we can do third surfing, but as I said, I'm going to weigh on a few on a break, so. Meh. I'm alright, I'm sure I've won the Korean events too, which I haven't made actually, so. See how it goes. So let's go, go drink, go drink corrupt. I might go drink racing also. Yeah, yeah so as I said, I haven't played it before, so. This character. I'll go Amy, she's actually my favorite um, Sonic character. Still now, this is fun. Oh, we're getting extreme gear for the last second. Now, show off at least um, one, uh, a couple of uh, Tokyo. Events, so I might as well do um, uh, let me think which one do I want to do? Let's do volleyball first. So I'll show up two of these. Um, as I said, the dream, um, the dream, Tokyo event's actually my favorite, so but we only have eight characters available from Mario, Mario, Bowser, Luigi, and Peach. Well, for Sonic, we have Sonic, Eggman. Tails and Knuckles. It does seem weird because you could at least have 
Wario, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and, and Daisy from Mario, and well, Sonic, they're Amy and Vector have, have models that you can use, and Mel, Mel Sonic as well. And I think there might be one for Shadow from Sonic Battle, so, but I don't know, it's, I haven't really looked into that for a while, but we'll do. Well, this, let's do a round of, um, again, since Sonic Ring is coming out, sure. Since I think he's the only character that's actually going to be likeable, and I'm actually going to like him to Sonic Edge, I'm going to go with Eggman for this one. Okay. Let's do it. Then I'll show you one more event. Alright. Try the event for this, I don't know, I just think yeah, I can do better. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got it. The AI is actually fine in this game, in this game honestly. I, don't, I haven't found any cheapness yet. Spike. Servers. Them a point. A safe serve. So as I said, one of the main things coming up this year that I will review is the Psycho Hedgehog movie. What intense focus. It's the gun. The perfect path to summit and the rotation. What's the next step? Why not, Luigi? Amazing what you just got to think. A great score. Okay. 
Yeah, make it calm. The routine begins. Going for it. And the rotation. Please, that'll be a high score. Thank you. That's a good score. What intense focus. Here we go. Uh-oh, he was dead. Nah, great. Well, you know, oh no, perfect. How will this mistake affect the score? That mistake really cost the score. What sort of routine are we in for? No. Here's the dive. Very strong. Going for it. And the rotation. Going for it. And the rotation. A beautiful dive. Let's see the results. A great score. Hmm. There it is, the gold medal. And we're doing zero after that miss. So yeah, that, that's basically my Sonic. Basically, I think I for basically for what I bought, I honestly think it was a decent enough game. It's not, it's not the best of the series. Trust me, I think Vancouver 2010 and London 2012 are the best. Like everyone, but I think for overall, it's a good, good return to return to grace, like a good return to form. Honestly, I mean, after how disappointing Sochi and Rio were, this was a, at least I think taking 2018 off was a good idea from Sega. It, it, they've got a few things I would like to see them improve, like the guest characters and bring back dual celebrations. But for what, I, and of course more dream events. But for what I was, I'm grateful for it. I would like to see the concept of retro, the retro games return, honestly. So, yeah, I think it's a good game. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 has stars. A good game to start off the year. So, what's next for me? Well, I think I've got a... I'm not sure what's coming up next for me on this channel. But I've got a lot of ideas this year. I might return... I'm planning to return... Got a few ideas for new chat... Possibly adding a new channel. So, that's one thing to look forward to. Maybe two actually. And well, we'll just have to wait and see what this year comes up. But I've got like huge things ahead. But one but we'll mention one thing that is coming up is a review of nineteen seventeen, which is the war movie, the World War One movie with Bandit Cumberbatch. So that's one thing to look out for. But in the meantime, as the is out, and I welcome you to twenty twenty. Ciao.